for 100 athletes in there. Got silent in there. Oh, all right, we're going to leave you alone. <laughs> and then the, the, the person that was starting that was talking the most just, captain of the football team, who benches over 350 pounds, 5 to 11, was an incredible athlete, came to me afterwards, after everybody left the room, says, Howard, I'm a Christian. But I, just, I don't know how to do that. Can you pray for me? He, he came Nicodemus at night. He didn't come while everybody was in the room. He smirked. But he came and says, I want that. I want to be able to do that. I want to be, my mom's a Christian. I was raised in church, but I don't know how to do it. Can you? And I led him to the, the prayer of salvation. So now you got to start trusting God. Yes. Are y'all with me? Yes. See, a lot of times when we're trying to make our children to be normal, guess what? God ain't called them to be normal. Yes. He's called them to be different and to make a stand on the earth. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. Oh, God. We're walking in the fear of the Lord. We can have confidence that God is on our side. God is on your children's side. God is on your side. He's on your family's side. Just trust in Romans 8 and 31 says, what shall we then say these things? If God be for us, what? Who, Who can, can be, be against, against us? us? You got to know that. You plus God is more than enough. Yes, yes. Majority. You plus God is more than Amen. Greater is he that is in you than he that's in the world. The strength of God is living on the side. The person who's walking in the fear of the Lord and is living by the book will have fewer feelings of insecurity, abandonment, and fear. There will be far fewer times when salvation is doubted. When you understand the fear of the Lord, the fear of the Lord produces a strong sense of security and close fellowship with the Father. This is a blessing and a benefit that comes from trusting and loving him. Yes. God calls his people to walk in fear of God. And we're going to be talking about this. We're going to be getting this deeper. Amen? Amen. Now give God a hand clap and stand to your feet, everybody. Stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. Hallelujah. Stand to your feet as we close. Hallelujah. Did you get something out of today? Amen. 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 Turn to your neighbor. If you believe this, say this if you believe this. Don't say, I choose to walk in the fear of God. I, I choose to walk, to walk in the fear of God. Come on, turn your name, turn your other name, say, neighbor, I choose to walk in the fear of God. I choose to walk in the fear of God. Hallelujah. I know you got to get to work. Amen. Thank you. Got off at three this morning. You got to go back to Target. God bless. Praise God. Thank God for the district manager of Target there. Yes. Amen. Let's, 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 let's pray. Lift your hands to him. If you, if, 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 you, if you heard this word, you say, man, I need more. I don't care if you've been saved 20 years. I don't care if you've been raised for 40 years. If you need the fear of God in your life, Ask God to come on in. Praise God and let this be a prayer of salvation for you as well. Praise God. If you're here and you don't know the Lord, just say, let's, let's just give it all to him right now. Father, right now, we just give it all to you, Father. We surrender. We have our hands lifted up saying, God, we surrender it all to you. We need you. As a song we sung today, we need you more than ever, God. And God, we need that reverential fear in our lives that, Lord, we're not trying to act one way around Christians and another way around our unsaved people. But, Lord, there's a consistency that we're acting like the Word wants us to act, God. Lord, God, I know one thing that bothers your heart because it bothers my heart when I hear people say, God, don't act that way around church, folks. God, help us not to act that way around your presence and understand that you see everything. God, you're not, you're not blind and winking at our sin. But God, you see it all and you want us to surrender it all to you. And if we're struggling with something, you want us to give it to you and say, God, show us and help us and deliver us out of it. God, help us, God. Break us, God. Do our lowest common denominator in you. So that, God, the realness of who you are will come forth. God, will give you the honor, the praise, and the glory. And God, we, we, we yield to you and have your way. Repeat after me, church. Say, dear Lord, dear Lord come, into my heart. come into my heart. Establish the fear of God. In my life, in my family, on my job, everywhere I go, in my community, so that they may see a risen God on the inside of me. Be glorified through my life, through the resurrection of Jesus Christ in me. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. And by, by the profession of their faith and that prayer, God, and confession, God, that we need you more. We pray that you meet each and every person like only you can. And God, 
that you're more than enough. We thank you for being more than enough. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Give God some praise. Come on. Hallelujah.